Welcome back. 380 teenagers from schools across the capital were installed as Defense Force Rangers yesterday during a ceremony at the Defense Force base. With their theme empowering youth through discipline, the smartly dressed Rangers put on a true Ranger showdown for their family and friends. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Carl Smith, says the program allows young Bahamians to exemplify what it means to be good leaders. He highlighted some of the accomplishments over the years. Since its inception 17 years ago, the Defense Force has inducted some 5,000 students in its Ranger program, many of whom are making valuable contribution to the development of their country. To date, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Ranger section has under its instruction 700 active Rangers nationwide from 33 schools. Of the 62 new recruits presently ongoing new entry training, several are former Rangers who have embraced the honor of serving their country in this outstanding military organization. Well, during the installation ceremony, some of the Rangers were given the Commodore and Minister Awards, and others were recognized for their academic achievements. Smith also encouraged the new Rangers to continue to follow their dreams and always strive for excellence. As Royal Bahamas Defense Force Rangers, you are the future leaders of this great nation. Never take for granted the exposure and experience you have gained from some of the nation's best. Inductees, you are to be commended for your efforts and courageous decisions to become Defense Force Rangers. As members of the Rangers organization, you are expected to exemplify good and honorable behavior. The Bahamas Telecommunications Company has five flagship stores and tomorrow another store will open in the Shirley Street Plaza. While in Exuma for the launch of the first family island outlet, BTC Lime's retail manager Bob Gill talked about the company's progress thus far. I've been island hopping a lot, um, uh, but the main focus has been looking at our retail estate that we have out there and one by one developing the new concept which you see today. So uh, this is our fifth store that we've opened in a matter of uh, four to five months. Um, there's currently two others under construction and another three on planning at the moment. So, and that is across the whole of Bahamas. BTC plans to have up to 15 flagship stores and around 30 smaller outlets. Guild says giving customers that world-class experience is what BTC is all about. It's a very demanding and challenging role. Uh, certainly eats up a lot of your hours and uh, weekends and evenings. Uh, but it's exciting because you'll see the reaction now. You know, if, if we can have this type of reaction everywhere we go, the customers, our colleagues are loving it. So it's worth that, you know, sweat and toil. It's Earth Day and the governing free national movement among those recognizing the significance and efforts made to protect our natural resources. In a statement, the government says it has doubled the national park system, bringing to 700,000 acres the amount of marine and terrestrial areas protected. Legislation was also enacted to provide a closed season for a grouper and to protect our forests. In its next term, the FNM says it will continue its mission to preserve the Bahamian environment by creating additional parks and marine reserves and heightening its focus on energy efficiency and conservation. And on this day, the FNM government is reminding Bahamians of their civic responsibility to be stewards of the environment by reducing waste and conserving energy. Well, earlier this week, environment officials planted trees here in the capital. Well, another of the, of the events celebrating Earth Day here in the Bahamas today was the unveiling of an environmentally themed metal sculpture entitled We Restore by artist blacksmith Tyrone Ferguson. That ceremony taking place at the New Providence Community Church this afternoon. Ferguson breaks down the meaning of it for us. The top of the sculpture, you would find the hands of many members of our community, adults and children. We wanted to speak into the idea of what we could do if all of us intentionally put our hands into taking care of and maintaining God's earth. So if you look at the yellow on the sculpture, really, it's a door. It's intentionally the height of a door and the width of an average door. What we're inviting people to do is to walk into a new way 
of responding to the environment. Worldwide on Earth Day, religious leaders were encouraged to share messages that raised public consciousness and appreciation for the environment. Ferguson, who was also a pastor at the New Providence Community Church, drew his sermon from Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Where God gave the earth to us and told us to care for it, to tend to it. And I said to the congregation this morning that God has mandated us to do better with what he made good. And we do better when we intentionally put our hands to change God, what God created, to be intentional and focus as a garden, as a place where people can come into and experience the creativity of God and the beauty that is ours as a gift from God. Ferguson says Earth Day really should be all year round, and to that end, the Blake Road-based church has created a unique recycling center. We're recycling cardboard and paper, as also and also cans here, and we're having a drive-through, probably the first drive-through recycling center in the Bahamas, where people can actually come and drive through, recycle their stuff, and drive right out of the community. Well, we're joined now by the total package, Julian Gibson, who's going to tell us what's up in sports. Well, Rain washing out the political rallies. Rain also washed out softball in the start of the New Providence Softball Association season last night. Plus, we got some basketball, the national championships. Well, they wrapped up over in Bimini this weekend. Stay with us. Sports is up next.